all set up now and um, <clears throat> it's looking positive my right rod literally just before I pressed record has uh, sort of had a massive liner on it twice I almost got up to take it um, but it was just a massive liner so it shows that fish are in the area which is massively positive um, see as I mentioned well actually I don't think I mentioned actually I put that on my Instagram story uh, we're at Froggers Pool today um, it's near Ludlow in Shropshire um, it's actually my local pool but it's the first time I've been on it because I haven't lived up here for that long um, so I've been sort of traveling Cotswolds way but I'm looking forward to it like I said we've had a liner on the right rod which is really positive already the dark the dark is dimming the light is dimming now and um, I'm hoping that we might get a night bite or two there have been some fish come out recently that have been closer to the 30 pound mark between 25 and 30 pound so a good good set of fish in here uh, there are cats as well but I really don't expect them to be awake and moving um, it's currently like the 24th of March and I don't really think they usually come out until late April early May so hopefully we won't get one because I'm here for the carp today um, but yeah I'm really really excited I'm looking forward to it I'll take you through the bait and everything tomorrow because as you can see the light is dimming fast and um, yeah you won't be able to see what I'm trying to show you but I'll show you the spots I will just say I've got two on the island um, you can only use two rods here and um, and yeah I've also got a new bait company that I'm working alongside um, I'm part of the pro team so I'll talk to you more about that tomorrow as well uh, because that is the bait that I'm trialing today um, or I say I'm trialing I'm part of the team I'm, but this is the first time I'm using the bait and uh, I will be exclusively using the bait um, here on in um, so I'm really looking forward to that so this is my first try of the bait but like I said I'll show you the rigs I'll show you the bait I'll show you the spots and everything uh, tomorrow when we have more light but hopefully this won't be the last time that I talk to you before it is light again and we have one in the net but who knows it's that time of year now it's been nice and light recently it's been really really uh, warm in comparison to what it has been it's been sort of anywhere between 10 and 15 degrees for the last two weeks I'm hoping that, that has warmed the water up a little bit I'm fishing close to the island so it's quite shallow um, I'm hoping that that bit of water is maybe just a little bit warmer than the depths and uh, maybe the fish will be up in those more rather than deep so we can only keep our fingers crossed and I will keep you updated if we get anything. If not, I will catch you in the morning. So yeah, let's see how the night goes. Well, first of all, good morning. As you probably worked out, we didn't get anything through the night. Really harsh conditions through the night, to be fair. Um, the wind was horrific. I hardly got any sleep. And then first thing this morning, it was hammering down with rain. Um, so the conditions haven't been nice. I've been sat in the bivvy trying to watch the water. I've not seen anything showing. So I have switched things up a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see me on the camera. Um, or sorry see where I'm looking but behind me is the island that I'm fishing to um, I've now only I had two rods on there uh, I've now moved the right hand rod to a different island that I have access to and I'm hoping for something different I've also baited margin spots that I've not fished yet and maybe I will fish those uh, throughout the day if we don't happen to get anything past lunchtime or whatever uh, I'm here till this evening uh, for a 24 hour session so hopefully uh, we'll get something then but fingers crossed we don't blank um, because that would be a shame but it is my first time on this venue so I'm still trying to learn the venue 
Um, I think my biggest flaw with fishing is that I don't stay at one venue, I don't consistently go back to one venue. I like to switch around, I like to move around, and not only that, it makes it interesting for the viewer because you guys wouldn't want to see me at the same venue every single week. So I suppose that makes it a little bit harder for me because I don't understand the venues, I don't give myself time to learn the venues. Uh, maybe that's something I'll change my angling in the future, but honestly, I just I just love fishing new places, um, I like the challenge and even when I don't catch, I know it doesn't make the perfect video when you don't catch, um, but I feel like I personally learn a lot and maybe I've shown you a new venue that you want to go and try or something, so I think um, I think it's not all bad, but I will take you through the bait now as the sun is kind of trying to come out. Um, it, it was really bright this morning and then it started raining again and now it looks like it's trying to brighten up again so hopefully we uh, we won't be too far off a nice sunny spell and I'll show you the bait I'll show you what rigs I'm using when I bring one of my rods in and fingers crossed we'll get something um, I am feeling hopeful we did have some liners last night but nothing nothing to uh, nothing to go off really so that's why I've moved the rods around and I'll probably be quite mobile with moving my rods around. I've got two pegs to myself, peg five and six. I'm currently fishing from peg six, um, but I have spoken to the fishery owner and he has said that I can use peg five as well, um, which is really handy and allows me to be a little bit more mobile with where I'm fishing. Uh, there's only four people on the lake, um, as that, is, again, is the rules. Um, there's 10 pegs, but only four pegs are ever used, um, which I think is really good and two rods so it's never over pressurized um, at one time so it's always busy but there's never too many lines in the water which makes it a lot nicer for the angler so um so yeah i'll show you the bait shortly and i'm feeling confident i am feeling confident so to take you through the bait that i'm using as i mentioned at the start i have joined a bait team um, that bait team is Spa Bait. Now, um, they're actually quite local to me, which I didn't know. They approached me and we're working together. I'm part of the pro team and I'm massively excited to pretty much take this season, this year, whatever it might be, as my first year on Spa Bait. Um, the quality of the bait to start with, I, I will only sort of use a bait if I do think it's a good bait and this bait is incredible um, I got really 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 good delivery time on it first of all I'll show you the bait so this is maple bee that I'm using it's quite similar to what I usually use I like to use tiger nuts I like to use sweet stuff I like to use things like that so uh, this is maple D um, link will be down in the description to the spa baits website anyway so you can go and check it out for yourself but incredibly quality bait literally so soft they just no pressure at all and they crumble which honestly is the greatest thing for me in the winter that I can just crumble a little bit up in my fingers in my hand with no effort at all because one when I'm putting it in a bag in a solid bag and anything like that I want it crumbed up I want it squished up with no effort you get some baits and they're like bullets, not these. Um, really, really nice bait. Really, 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 really kick up a stink as well, which is great for me. Um, and uh, yeah, obviously it makes it nice and digestible for the carp uh, as well, or whatever you might be fishing for, whether it's carp, bream, um, catfish, anything like that. It makes it really digestible for them, um, which is obviously great for the winter, the winter months. Um, and I'll flick this in now and I have here the matching pop-up so I do believe all the pop-ups um, all the the sorry the bait flavors they all have their own pop-ups so they have their own match to hatch and their own um, high-vis pop-ups I think they're in pink yellow orange uh, and I'm not sure of the other colors but like I said the link will be in the description but they're all they also come if i can i'm not sure if i'll be able to you'll be able to see or not but they come sort of soaked in a glug as well um which is really nice also do wafters and stuff like that so basically my mix for today is the boilies 
uh, that are maple D. I have some mixed pellets, um, which are like, some are like four or five mil, some are two mil, some are one mil. They're just tiny little pellets, a big mixed bag. Um, and I've got those, I've got some maggots, and I've got some maple D boilies, 14 mil, all into the mix, um, as well as some worms. As you know, I always love some worms. And um, that is what I'm feeding with today. I'm spawning over the one rod and just using a solid bag with some uh, some pellets in the other rod. And I have a high vis maple D 14 mil pop up on both rods on Ronnie rigs. Uh, as you know, I love a Ronnie rig, and it's probably my favourite rig. The standard hair rig and a Ronnie rig are my two favourite rigs. So I have both of those fishing pop ups and uh, hopefully it's gonna get us a bite for the rest of the day but it's not looking hopeful now it was this morning it was nice and bright it was looking good but it's gone overcast now I've not seen anything showing so we've got to keep our hopes up but um, but yeah spa baits go and check them out really reasonable prices Ooh. and the the bait is massively high quality and honestly if you see some of the catch reports it's quite impressive um, and honestly I wouldn't promote something that I didn't believe in and the, the the quality of this bait like I said this is the first outing so I haven't personally caught anything on it but this is the first outing with them and the, the quality you can just feel you can smell and yeah th there's nothing more I can say about them but go and check them out and uh, let me know if you've used them already or if you would like to use them but yeah that's it for the bait section um, maybe we'll have a little chat about rigs and uh, see what we're using today so there is still plenty of time left in the day today for us to pick something up and uh, hopefully we will I'm down in the margins now because out on the island just wasn't doing anything uh, I'm tempted to put a zig on as I always do to cast about um, but it is like 13 d foot deep out in the middle so I don't know if to put like a 6 foot zig on or to make one and just adjust it or what but I have some decision making to do now it's about 10 a.m. and we probably have about six or seven hours left now so I've got to make some decisions and I've got to make them fast but hopefully we'll make the right one and we'll get a carp on the bank well as always on the channel if it's not working stick a zig on um, it's nice and bright it's shallower up the other end uh, one of the one of the lads from uh, the other end has just inform me that they've seen three or four out of my sight um, that have been breaching and I think I'm gonna lose absolutely nothing by sticking a zig on we've got like a three and a half foot zig here three foot zig and uh, I'm just gonna smash it out there and see how it goes really simple literally zig foam with a kicker and then a little anti-tangle sleeve just to kick it out at the end that is all with a quick change loop that is everything we need i'll be smashing that out and uh hoping that the zigs work better than the bottom baits because so far i don't think anyone's caught yet session is fishless I've pretty much tried everything I've currently got a zig right down the bottom end there's no one fishing that end of the lake whatsoever and I'm the furthest this end so I've sent one 
down to the bottom uh, in the shallower water because one of the lads has told me that they've seen it when showing. <clears throat> I've also still got one on the island that I've spawned over just in case there's something still down this end um, and fingers crossed for the last three hours. But I'm very intrigued. What would you do? What is your go-to tactic if you can't see them showing? If you've got nothing to go off but the, the day is nice, it's clear blue skies or mostly clear blue sky, skies, there's a bit of bit of wind, nothing too crazy, the conditions are quite nice. Um, what is your go-to? I'm very interested. Let me know in the comments because I've tried everything I can. I've, I've tried multiple spots, I've tried singles, I've tried solid bags. I've tried spawning, I've tried zigs, nothing is working. What would you do? What would you do in this situation when not a lot is working? So as you can see, last knockings, both rods on the floor now. Oh, it's been eventful. It's actually been quite stressful because my last few sessions, I mean, I did catch last session, but the session before um, at Hawcock, the, the conditions weren't great. It was down to one in the, in the night and uh you know maximum of six or seven in the day but it's it's literally like 13 degrees right now i think see i've probably burnt my face a little bit to be honest um and in the day uh, it's been like 13 at night it was like seven or eight last night so there's literally no reason why they shouldn't be biting but they're not unfortunately so unless i update you with a fish literally in the next 10 minutes unfortunately it's another blank for the channel but it has been a successful two days day and a half whatever day 24 hours because we managed to get two videos done so that is a positive but unfortunately no fish on the bank